welcome today we will see how to use list in python okay so for that what we have to do we have to just open our idle which is of python okay now what we can do we have to just open any file here and now what we will do we will just see first of all what is a list so list is nothing but it's in a class which is implemented you know in our program so for that for which we can also you know store data and all the data types in the list okay data values and all so what is the syntax of list so list the syntax of the list is list name and in the square bracket what we can do we can just add any values okay a number of values we can write okay and then close so list is nothing but you know we can easily we can easily add values and all variables in list okay so let's have a program write a program so i'm writing here let's say l1 equals to let's say one two three five so they are our list members okay and we can easily print our list print our list with l1 okay now what will be the result this will be print on our output so save our program i'm saving it here and now run so you can see our list has been printed here okay now what we can do also is that let's assess you know all the list elements separately so let's say x so this is a new variable which will store the you know the value of let's say list zero index okay and we'll just print x here so now save our program and here you can see we can easily assess by index as well now now let's say if we want to delete something okay so for that what we can do we can just use del as a keyword and what we can do let's say l1 and we have to provide the index of it so let's say four okay and print l1 now see our program here you can see the last element which is of fourth index was gone unrelated now what we can do next is we can you know use some of the operations on it so we can use our methods very different type of functions so let's create one more List okay. So I'm just copying this data and here let's say I'm putting this value okay. So as we know, list can store multiple values like duplicate value as well. And now what we can do just let's see. This is the list one. 
equal to okay now what we can do we can just use a compare variable okay so let's say print compare function seven which is cmp and here we can just provide both arguments here okay now if both are equal this will you know return true okay so let's see save so it's showing it is not defined camp okay so why this is so Let's first use a method which is length function, and we will just put the value here. Okay, and we can also use so whatever the value of this, whatever the values are having with this, you know, list one. And what we will get, we will get the length of it. Okay, and let's say y, and this will, what this will, okay. So now for we use max, and what we can do, we can just use a, as a L two. So whatever the L two list has. Values, it will just print the maximum value. And it will assign to y. Now we can use same like for z as mean. Okay. Okay. Now what we can do next is that we can just print everything. Okay. So print x. Y. and print set okay so let's see save okay so here you can see for better yeah so now you can see this is our first list second list and function which is we used for the first was len so the length of the first list is 5 and the maximum of the list 2 is 41 and the minimum is 5 okay now what we can do next is that we can perform some operation on you know let's i have to you know perform some operation on the list one okay so which are some you know operation so, so the operations can be like using some operators so the operators are like this is a repetitive okay so what is this so this is nothing but just repeat the values of the list so let's say and just like print l1 and using the multiply operator and 2 okay so what this will do so this is a repeat it or you can say repetition Okay, so this will print nothing but the list, the value of the list by two times. So, and we can use the more same operator like concatenation. Let's say L1 and let's say one more. This will be L2. Okay, 
and you can just use add so can connect the both add one and add two and so this is nothing but okay now what we can do next is that we can use you know membership operator okay as well so let's say so print let's say seven in in let's say album okay so if the seven value is here in the you know l1 so it will print true otherwise it will print false so this is nothing but numbers there is one more which is iteration so how to you know get each and every values of the list one by one what you can say it by using iteration so let's say four i i is the variable here and what we can do is that L1. Okay, now just print I. So it will print what it will print. It will just print each and every a list or item. Each and every item of that list one by one. Okay. This is So let's say program and run. Now you can see the output. So this is the first list, this is the second list, and by using repetition, repetition. we can just you know multiply same you know sorry here we can multiply it by two and we will get the two times of that list the values okay and the next is how we can you know concatenate the two lists so here we get here and by using the membership operator, it will say it's false, means seven is not present in the first list. And we have successfully used the for loop and print each and every value of the, or you can say each and every item of the list one by one. Now we can just, let's see. We want to delete L L two, okay, and just print. So this will print each and every. Sorry, this will print whole list. Okay, so let's say and it's showing an error. It's because we have already deleted so it's not defined same okay 